What's up guys, this is Sick Kids Entertainment. Today we're gonna to be trying out this Vivor Ultrasonic Cleaner from the TikTok shop. I don't really know anything about these things. I just got one in the mail and uh, that's what makes it fun. I'm gonna experiment with it a little bit. Anyway. From my research, and by research I mean um, just using my eyes and uh, reading the manual, there are some buttons on here. We have time and we have temperature, so we can set this all the way to 80 degrees Celsius. I don't know what Celsius is, and uh, we can run it for up to 30 minutes. And so we got this basket. This basket is going to go inside of there. I've seen a lot of people cleaning carburetors, but I don't really have any carburetors that I need to clean right now. So I'm going to try some other stuff, and we're going to see what happens. So anyway, I'm told this thing is good for jewelry. I'm going to try and put some brass and copper fittings in here. I got a bunch of pro press fittings that are sort of messed up on the inside. We got uh, a drill bit. This drop here looks like it was unswept. It's got some pipe dope in there. I'm just experimenting at this point because I don't really know how this thing is gonna work and I don't actually know what I'm doing with it. But hey, if you have a better idea, you can let me know. Now, just for experiment's sake, I'm gonna throw a golf ball in there too. I'm gonna see what happens with that separate all these because they can't be touching each other there's a bunch of little bubbles that are supposed to clean this stuff off and if it's touching the bubbles can't get into all the creases so i'm gonna start by filling this thing up with water maybe i should have cleaned that sprayer off first now i'm going to use white vinegar great value the good stuff set the basket in there So, all right, here we go. Oh, wait, I know why this didn't work. There we go. Nah, it's just the noise it makes. I don't recommend sleeping with this thing, but let's put the lid on it. Let that work for a while, come back, see what it does. All right, so the screen is pretty much impossible to record. I can see it on here. It's saying that it's 44 degrees Celsius, and there's about 10 minutes left. I'm going to open this thing up and see what it looks like. Yeah. I don't really know if that stuff is getting really clean, but, uh, I mean, let's just wait till the end and see what happens. All right, so it's done now. We're going to take this stuff out of here, and we're going to see. Did it get clean? Definitely looks cleaner. I'm gonna wipe it down, rinse it off. From there. I will say that this backflow preventer here looks, I mean, a lot better than it did. Thing was really ratty. The shower valve, eh, I don't know. Maybe that could be used again. This, I don't actually know where this came from. This must have been in the scrap pile. Um, but, I mean, yeah. The inside of these fittings were really bad. Now they're pretty clean. I wonder about those O-rings, though. I'm actually shocked at how this brass came out. Like, this looks freaking awesome. I mean, this is just... This was really dirty because it was probably knocked around in the back of somebody's truck. It was in the shop. It got all screwed up. But look at that. It looks brand new. I mean, these things are not cheap. The Pro Press fittings got really clean, which is surprising because the sweat fittings didn't really get that clean. They sort of... Eh, you know, I mean, this side's pretty clean, but they left a lot of stuff on top of them. Whereas the Pro Press got, it's like, looks brand new. It's shiny. Anyway, all in all, I'd say it's a good product. Vivor Ultrasonic Cleaner. So, anyway, dump this thing out on the ground because it's just water and vinegar. There we go. Let me know what I should do next. 